next we're going to learn about firming of the planned orders so the topics that we're going to cover there are different ways to firm a planned order planning time fence firming types and roll over roll forward period so let us start with a business example no more planning is to take place in the short term to ensure these planned orders are formed what that means is for example earlier we have seen in mrp topics that as per the requirement system will be generating planned orders but again the planned order system will be automatically changing the planned orders as per the changes again or as per the requirement again but what if we want that whatever planned orders we have whether generated by MRP whether we have created manually we do not want MRP to change it automatically sometimes what happens in real time scenario that if you have a planned order that has to be scheduled for the procurement or for, for production uh, in the next week and we received another sales order urgently which have a uh, delivered date in the next one day then system will be generating MR, running MRP and what it will do it will try to create a new planned order for the new sales order before the old one that means it will push the dates of the old planned order it will push it more than one week or something depending on what the setup is but what we want is whatever planned plan order we have whether we have one planned order whether we have more planned order we do not want the MRP to change it automatically however we should be able to change it manually but MRP should not be changing it automatically by itself that is the purpose of firming now we'll discuss in more detail firming philosophy what it say with firming you can protect the master production schedule for MPS or and MRP items for, from being change, change, changes automatically that means whether it's MPS item whether it's MRP item uh, the planned orders can be protected from automatically change changing by MRP within firming period which is defined individually for each material procurement proposal are no longer changed automatically during MRP run so as I said before whatever the procurement proposal is there whatever the dates are there whatever quantities are there in the planned order they will not be changed automatically by the MRP run you should define the firming period on the basis of the total lead time of the material before I continue with this one but let me open uh, existing uh, planned order so if I open any item here so if I open this planned order go to the change mode so this is the checkbox you need to take if you want to firm a planned order so once you firm that means no MRP can't change it automatically whatever the dates are whatever the quantities are whatever you have done it will not be able to change it for example if I even if I change the quantity here to say thousand pieces from 8 10 but if this is not firmed then when MRP will run MRP will say no no we just need 810 pieces so it will change it back to 810 pieces and if you want to avoid that then you need to check this box and save it and system will be and refresh it that's it system will putting a star here star means it's it's a firmed order and uh, that means system will not be changing it automatically so you should define the firm period on the basis of the total lead time of the material so we'll talk about this one again later on about the firming period planned orders can also be formed and unformed manually so you can check this box or uncheck this box whenever you want so that means you can form a planned order or you can unform it by un unchecking the box so with firming like we have seen here earlier um, uh, this topic will talk at the end basically but there's a thing called planning time fence we can we can maintain a planning time fence in the material master that means any material within the planning time fence will automatically be formed so we'll talk about this topic in a minute so let us 
first talk about the firming a planned order so as we have just seen that you can firm by taking this checkbox in 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 your planned order and there are two types of basically uh, firming or you can say three types of firming so one is for planned order that means anything in the planned order can't be changed so does not this indicator does not change the header data if I show the show this one practically again so if I open this planned order so you have three boxes one this one planned order component and conversion indicator so you can press F1 on this one and see more detail about the field you can read all this but here is same thing you can see in the slide that when you check the planned order checkbox it means that does not change the header of the planned order, planned order and then we have a component as well does not change the component so what that means is let me show you okay, let me uncheck this and save it and come back Refresh. if I open it go to the change mode now when you check this box that means this anything in this header can't be changed there's another one component component means the bomb items will not be changed that's the components you can click on this bill of material here button on the top so let me go to the master data first I think there's no component let me check yeah there's no component for this item but let me open a different Land order. If I go to the other item, this one. Okay, let's let's open this land order and check this for now, and I will save it. I come back. So the second, the component checkbox is for that. If you go to the bill of material on the top, so that's a bomb. So whatever bomb quantity is picked picked up from the CS02 bomb data, bomb master data. So there's some component, there's some quantity and all that you have picked. But say this quantity is 810. If you can add a, add another item, you can remove another item here, but for example, or you can change the quantity as well. If I said this 810 pieces should be 900, for example, press enter. So whenever you make some changes in the bomb, in the bill of material within a planned order, it will check that box. See? that box it will be checking now so system will be checking both boxes now but mainly the component box is checking as well so that means because I have changed it manually next time MRP will run will not change the bomb of this planned order because if, if this one is not checked then next time when the MRP will run MRP will again try to copy this copy the the correct bomb to this planned order so it will try to see okay this is not this shouldn't be 900 it should be 800 then system will be changing it so that's for the component of the bomb even if somebody change the once we have formed the component indicator here and somebody go and change the CS02 bomb it will not take effect in for this planned order so that's the use so you can save it that's for the component as well and the last one is conversion indicator so when you check this box, this box is already checked. This is already checked. But if you uncheck this, that means this this planned order cannot be converted to a uh, to a purchase requisition or a production order if this is unchecked. But if this is, for example, for X Y Z reason, you do not want anyone in your company to 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 convert this planned order to a production order to or to a purchase order or purchase acquisition then you can uncheck this box and save it no one can do it if I go to the double click on it if I try to create production order see at the bottom there's an error planned order this is not to be converted it will stop me if somebody try to do it there's an error at the bottom this cannot be converted so I need to go back and double click on it chain mode when you select this one then you can only so this one by default this one is always checked by default this conversion indicator now you can so that's the use of the third box